We praise God for the voices that give Him glory. Let us bow for word of prayer. Father, we again come and thank you. We worship you as our Father God. Thank you for this wonderful privilege that we can come into your presence. Father, for Good Friday and Easter. Truly is very meaningful for us. For it is when you bring grace to us. It's through your love sending your son on the cross. That enables us to come and be forgiven. It enables us to come into your presence as our God. Not just as our God. But you receive us now as your children. That we come before you calling you Abba, Father. That we have your affection. That your loving hand is always upon us. Thank you for this privilege that you've given us. And as we come before you today, we worship you as our loving Father. Father, help us to see you. To see your love and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, they call Friday Good Friday. You know, so today, Sunday, you know, I always thought Sunday should be called Good Sunday, right? You know, because Sunday is actually the day that is the, the one we celebrate. Because Jesus has risen. You know, so maybe we should call it glorious Sunday. So Good Friday and glorious Sunday. Because we can only understand why Friday is good because of Sunday. You know, Friday is good only if we understand what happens on Sunday. Because on the surface, Friday didn't seem like a very good day for Jesus, did it? That is a day that we recall what Jesus went through in all his suffering. And ultimately being nailed on that cross. Now that cross was a, a symbol of shame and disgrace. And crucifixion was actually reserved for the worst of criminals. What did Jesus do to deserve such a punishment? You know, when he entered Jerusalem the week before, he was hailed as the great Messiah, the deliverer of Israel. You know, Jesus was received as a great teacher, healer. He was doing uh, all sorts of miracles to show forth his divinity. Jesus had no sin. And certainly he didn't know, have any crimes that deserve this type of death. Yet he was rejected by his people. The leaders of his religion, the religions, religion, sorry, the leaders of the religion, they turned against him. And they turned all the people against him. That they would crucify him. You know, it kind of sort of looked like Jesus was defeated. 
看起来好像被打败。那些人在那里有一个悲哀的结果。These three women that come to the grave, they're experiencing this doom and this gloom. The sadness of the Messiah being crucified. All that they've believed in has died. The Messiah was in the tomb. But out of their love for Jesus, they still want to anoint Jesus' body in the tomb. For anointing the body with spices was a, a loving gesture, it was the custom of doing. And because they love Jesus, they wanted to anoint his body. You know, it's really interesting to note uh, what Mark says here. In, in verse 3. You know, they go, but they don't know how that they're going to open the tomb. You know, there's covered a big rock in the entrance of the tomb. How are we going to get in there? You know, but God bless their actions. You know, sometimes we, we do that too sometimes, don't we? You know, sometimes, sometimes we do things out of faith that seem illogical. But God blesses us through that. But when the women get there to the tomb, to their surprise, the stone is rolled away. And when they enter the tomb, they don't see Jesus' body. Instead, they saw a young man dressed in white robe sitting there. And they became very afraid. You know, Matthew, Matthew 28 describes this person as an angel. You know, it's good when we read this story to actually read all four Gospels together. It gives us a much clearer picture of everything that went on. So this angel, this messenger says to them, don't be afraid. I know that you're looking for Jesus, the Nazareth, who was crucified. But he's not here. You know, and, and this is the real shocker. You know, he's not dead, he's risen. Jesus has risen from the dead. Go tell the disciples and Peter. He's going ahead of you to Galilee. You know, there you will see him as he told you. You know, how would you feel if you you experienced this? You know, they fled the tombs, they were afraid and amazed. You know, they were, the word for amazed, bewildered. You know, they had no idea what was going on. They didn't expect Jesus to rise from the dead. They expected Jesus to be dead and put on the spices on him. But seeing what happens, they were fearful and they were amazed. Mark, the author of this gospel, he's very consistent in the way that he portrays 
man's response to Jesus. They're always in awe and amazement of Jesus. Every time they experience Jesus' deity and his power. If you remember when Jesus walked on water, or when he quieted the storm, when he cast out the demons, they were all amazed and afraid. You know, to mark this, this, this account of the empty tomb, it's, it's soul shaking. You know, it's life changing. You know, it changes the world. Because without this, there is no salvation. The whole world will be doomed without Jesus. Death and resurrection. Jesus is alive, he's risen. Jesus wants us, Mark wants us to see, sorry, this sense of amazement and awe. That the Son of God would come and die for our sins. We should be left trembling. Left in awe and worship of God. You know, with that one simple sentence, He is risen. The woman's despair turns to fear and amazement. All their hope was gone because Jesus was dead. Now comes a little glimmer of hope. Jesus is alive. And that glimmer of hope we see blossoms into the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus doesn't leave them hanging. As you read in 1 Corinthians, Jesus takes time personally to restore their hope and their faith. And he stayed with them 40 days after his resurrection. And he built the church through that. In reality, Jesus going to the cross was yes. God's plan of grace of salvation all along. From the moment that Jesus was born, the cross was his destiny. It was God's design that Jesus would die on that cross for our sins. His death becomes that atoning sacrifice for us. Because his suffering and death pays the penalties of our sins. And we are clothed with his righteousness before God. So Jesus has conquered sin through his death. You know, without Jesus dying on the cross, that will not happen. Our sins will not be forgiven. It's a sacrifice that had to be made. And it's loving sacrifice. That's why we call it Good Friday. But it's not enough, actually. The ultimate enemy is actually death itself. You know, there's no Good Friday without the glorious Sunday. 
如果冇呢个荣耀嘅星期日，就唔会有美好嘅星期五。Jesus' resurrection is the victory over death itself。耶稣嘅复活就系佢已经战胜死亡。I'll read. To, we're going to read 1 Corinthians 15 verses 17 to 22. 喺哥林多前书十五章十七至二十二节咁样讲。It says, "If Christ had not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sin. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If it, if this life only were the hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But In fact, Christ has risen from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man also comes also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, so also in Christ all shall be made alive. 基督若没有复活，你们的信便是徒然。你们乃在罪里，就是在基督里睡了的人。也滅亡了。我們若靠基督，只在今生有展望，就算比眾人更可憐。但基督已經從死裏復活，成為睡了之人初熟的果子。死既是因一人而來，死人復活也是因一人而來。在亞當裏，眾人都死了；照樣在基督裏，眾人也都要復活。It says it very clearly here to us. 呢度好清楚嘅同我哋讲。If there is no resurrection, no rising of the dead of Jesus. 如果耶稣冇复活嘅话 ，there is no salvation for us. 对于我哋嚟讲，我哋就冇救恩。Our faith would be futile or pointless. 我哋嘅信心系虚无嘅。You know, we should be the ones that are pitied because we're we're following after a religion that's not real. 我哋系可怜嘅一群，因为我哋系跟紧一个唔系真实嘅信仰。But Jesus did rise. 但系耶稣实在系复活了。And that changes everything. 而呢个将一切嘅嚟到带一个改变。Right, Jesus' death demonstrates his power over sin and over death. 耶稣嘅复活就系将彰显咗佢嘅大能系胜过罪、胜过死亡嘅。Now, rain is defeated. 撒旦嘅权能已经被打碎。You know, Bible says that the strong man who s a i n he's bound now。佢圣经讲过话，呢一个嘅强暴嘅人已经被捆锁啦。He is bound。被捆鎖。Jesus has bound him。耶穌已經捆綁咗佢。And he'll be taken away when Jesus returns。當耶穌再嚟嘅時候，佢亦都被帶走。Satan is defeated。撒旦被打敗。You know, sure, he's still affecting people now. He's just bound, but he's not taken away yet。現在佢仲能夠影響人，因為佢只係被捆綁，佢未被帶走。You have been freed from that bondage of sin. 但系你就喺呢个罪嘅捆锁里边得咗释放。You've been guaranteed life, life eternal, life abundant. 你已经保证咗有生命，有永生嘅生命，有丰盛嘅生命。You know, Jesus is that first fruit. 耶稣就系呢个初熟嘅果子。You know, what is that? He's the first fruit. He's the first one that resurrects from the dead. 点解系初熟嘅果子？佢就系第一个从死里复活嘅。The first fruit means he's the first of us. 佢點解叫初熟嘅果子？佢就喺我哋眾人之中第一位。Just as Jesus rose from the dead， 正正就係好似佢喺死裏邊復活。It's a guarantee for us of our hope in Christ。呢個我喺我哋在基督裏，亦都係一個保證嘅盼望。Our salvation is sure。我哋嘅救恩係肯定嘅。Because just as we saw Jesus rise from the grave， 正。就係、是、好似我哋睇到耶穌從墳墓裏邊嚟到復活。That resurrection has been promised for us。呢個復活亦都係俾咗一個應許我哋。It's our guarantee。呢個係我哋嘅保證。For the believer of the forgiveness of sins。相信主耶穌基督嘅信徒就有呢一個嘅保證，罪得赦免。You know, this is the wonderful story of Easter。呢個就係復活節一個美麗嘅好嘅信息。Have you received this gift of Christ? 你有冇接受主耶稣基督呢一份嘅礼物咧 ？Paul Tripp put it, puts it this way. Paul Tripp 牧师咁样讲 ：In God's righteous and wise plan， 喺神公义同埋有智慧嘅计划。This dark and disastrous moment, the crucifixion， 喺呢一个黑暗同埋灾难性嘅时刻，就系、是、主耶稣基督被钉十字架。This moment was ordained to be the moment that would fix all the dark 
and disastrous things of sin. This seemingly hopeless moment of death. At the same time, is the moment of life when eternal hope was given. So he tells us to be careful of how you make sense of your life. What looks like disaster in your life Things that seem very bad. In fact, may be God's grace. What looks like the end may be the beginning. Because the same God who planned that worst thing, Jesus' death, that his death would be the best thing. The one who planned this all is your father. And he rules over every moment of your life. And he is the one that is powerful in grace. And he is the one that can do for you just as he did in redemptive history. He takes those disasters in your life and makes them tools of redemption. He takes your failures and employs it as a tool of grace. He uses the death of the fallen world to move you to reach out for life. So those moments of despair, those moments when this life seems to be in disaster, are moments that God is opening you up to reach for him. The hardest things in your life becomes the sweetest tools of grace because you are in his wise and loving hand. Your father is committed to take what seems so bad and turn it into something very, very good. This is what the resurrection shows us. The wonderful Savior comes to turn what is bad into what is wonderful. He's turned our lives from a life of sin that's destined to judgment and turned it into a life where we can live it for him. No longer facing judgment but having a promise of eternal life. Do you know this loving Savior? Have you received him as your Lord and your Savior? Now, there's no greater blessing than having Jesus be your Lord and Savior. No greater feeling than being accepted by God and being called a child of God. Is 
this is an experience that you as every Christian should have. That's what gives you the joy of your salvation. And each and every day you live in the blessing of God. And we receive an even richer blessing. That we're clothed in Christ's righteousness. As Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God now, we are destined to be part of that eternal kingdom. You're already part of that kingdom now, here on this earth. Those who accepted Christ become part of the kingdom of the invisible church. And this visible church that he's given to us today is a church that he's blessed us with to help to, to, for us to be able to help one another. To continue to grow in God's grace. To help us focus on living for Him. And to serve together to build His kingdom. Because you are now the child, children of God. You know, you're, you're, you're here to build His eternal kingdom. You know, and as we celebrate Easter today, and that's because Jesus is alive. He's, he's risen. You know, Easter, like I said before, is a day, every day in our lives is Easter. Because Jesus lives and reigns in each heart of the believer. Let's pray. Father, help us to see your amazing love for us. That while we were yet sinners, you would send Christ to suffer and die on the cross. To atone for our sins. That we can come before you and call you Abba Father. We praise you for the power of your resurrection. That overcomes our greatest enemy, which is death. And eternal judgment. Father, you are the Lord. That has overcome death and judgment and sin. Father, fill us with the joy of living for you each and every day. Father, help us to see and trust in you. That even in the difficult and seemingly terrible things in our lives, even when they come, you rule over us. Help us to walk by faith. Help us to believe that even in the bitter things of life, they can they are made sweet by your powerful and loving hand. Father, help us to walk by faith. That even though we don't sometimes understand the things that happen, give us the grace to rely on your faithfulness. When things don't make sense, Help us to trust and lay our lives before you. Father, we pray that you will help us that even in the midst of our lives, Jesus 
is sovereign. 耶稣系掌权嘅。That you will turn things. 你亦都会改变。Into a blessing. 改变事情成为一个祝福。Father, for you are the one that has a plan for each and every one of our lives. 天父，因为喺我哋每一人每一个人嘅生命里边，你都有一个计划。To bless us. 去祝福我哋。To help us prosper in you. 去帮助我哋喺你里边得着丰盛。Father, help us to seek out that life you've Planned for us. 帮助我哋去寻找你为我哋预备嘅生命。So that we'll live it to give you all the glory. 以致我哋活着嘅时候，将所有嘅荣耀归于你。And all the praise. 一切嘅颂赞归于你。Father, I pray for those who are sitting here today. 天父，我为着在座嘅每一位嚟到祷告。Who don't know your love and your grace. 嗰啲唔认识你嘅恩典同你嘅爱嘅。Continue to soften their hearts to help them open their eyes. To see you. 求你继续软化佢哋嘅心，打开佢哋嘅眼睛，让佢哋能够看见你。To receive your amazing love and grace. 去接受你奇妙嘅爱同恩典。Father, we thank you for the time that you've given to us. 天父，我哋多谢你俾我哋有呢啲嘅时间。That we can rejoice in you, our Savior. 让我哋喺主耶稣基督我哋救主里边得着喜乐。We pray in your name. 我哋奉你嘅名字祈求。Amen. 阿门。Okay, let's all rise and turn to our last hymn.